We're in today with the RTX 3015 from MSI. This is the last video card from 30 series added to my GPU collection. We're gonna see how it's performing. I think it's a great video card despite it, its fame, you know, and uh, despite everybody questioning this GPU's existence, but disregarding, doesn't matter. I think we're gonna jump in some games and we're gonna see how it's running. Now, this video card is quite good. It's got 2560 shaders. It's got eight gig of VRAM. GDDR6 Micron with 128 bits, DirectX 12 of course, with 1552 megahertz on the core clock with 1750 megahertz on the memory clock. This is going to be an awesome video card to be tested with this uh, i9 10 gen because we don't want any bottleneck and you know what? Let's test the video card and see how it's performing. That's the only thing that matters, seriously. Okay, let's start with Fortnite and see how it's running with performance mode on 1080p with maximum details. I want the best numbers, you know, so I want to benefit from the monitor and uh, maybe this is the way, you know, 3050 with 8 gig of VRAM. I think it will do okay, seriously. Uh, in the air, I already have over 100 FPS. Hopefully I can maintain that number on average and on minimal because it's very important. This is a 3050, you know, an RTX video card. I can't, can't, can't have any problems with it, seriously. So I see the card like uh, it's, it's like around 50% low VRAM uh, used. So everything gets top notch in this situation. 200 FPS. On average, oh, that's, that's a that's a really good number. Only thing I'm curious, how much uh, minimal I get from this? Thirty fifty is doing a fantastic job. The only thing I'm curious is uh, how much uh, performance do I get from this video card? Seriously, eighty five watts. Um. Looking at a similar performance, like a 1060, seriously, with 6 gig of VRAM, but I don't need a 6 gig of VRAM, I'm only using 1.7 gig of uh, VRAM, and uh, it's a bit annoying, seriously, because this video card is capable of great things and can do nothing <laughs> to use. I mean, if I, I know that if I put it on higher detail, then I will be butchered. So on the CPU side, apparently I have no problem. I am using 11.3 gig of system RAM. That's actually good from the computer. Uh, only got uh, one or two cores apparently and some threads that are being maxed out. I have no problem from this uh, side, you know, from this end of the computer. On the on the GPU side, I got like really nice performance, but I got some very strange minimals. Seriously, they're kind of weird. Let's see how it's running in Apex. With 1080p, I think it's low details. Oh, this is exactly what I need. I know adaptive uh, FPS uh, target. All right, how are we doing? Whew. 143 FPS. This is the maximum. I think I can put some details, but I'm not interested in the details. I'm just interested in uh, maximum performance with less stress as possible. This is kind of weird, you know, to know an RTX 30, 3015 that is performing like this, you know, 2.5 gig. I think it can, I can feed up, uh, I can uh, bump up the details, but today is the first time I'm running this video card so, and I wanted to see as basic as possible, you know, to see it with as high FPS. It's very important to know that I can achieve those uh, numbers with the monitor, you know, if you have a high refresh rate or whatever monitor you have. The, on the temperature side, look at it. It's, it's, it's cool, you know, 55 degrees, but um, I maxed out the fan, 2.6. Okay, let's see the system, how it's holding. 10.2 10 gig of system RAM used with this. Okay, comparing it to Fortnite, apparently it's much better, but it's low details, you know, that was on performance mode. But regardless, even like that, it's still doing a fantastic job. But overall, the whole system is cool. Uh, I mean, really cool, 53 degrees on 3050. I'll take that all day. There is no problem with, uh, uh, there's no problem with the video card. Disregarding the fact that it's more expensive than a 10, 60 or 2060 yeah but it's it's a newer gpu you know older gpu is like a, like a second hand card and the, the more you use it the higher chance you have in breaking it you know so 
Look at this. Freaking awesome with performing, seriously. So 3050 30, 30, RTX. What is it? 3050 RTX. Yeah, I'll take it. Fantastic game, fantastic video card, seriously. Okay, let's jump into PUBG and see how it's running with this uh, magnificent game. I want to do something crazy. I want to see, yeah, because uh, I keep seeing on low details every single game that I tested uh, with uh, low details performing really nice. So I want to max out PUBG and see if I have a chance. I'm going to go for low performance mode, you know, put it on low details, but I want to see if it fills up that VRAM. That's the only thing I'm curious. Let's see how we're doing. Ooh, it looks fantastic, seriously can actually see the details everywhere. Whoa. Looks brilliant, but I think I need more brightness. Okay, so how are we doing? 90, 90 FPS on average with 21 on minimal. I mean, this is not bad. I wish I had more, but uh, I'll take it because this is maximum details. So this is exactly what you will get. So let's take a look and see how it's running with the GPU. 120 watts. I'm over 100 watts and it's eating a lot of... Um, uh, power you know in order to deliver this so for this uh, for this video card i think this is on the limit i will choose lower details in order to get higher fps so this is exactly what i wanted from the from the game you know with this details to see how the gpu is holding so on 2600 rpm the gpu stays 60 degrees but that's maximum that's maximum rpm and it's not quite okay because I want the GPU a little quiet. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can actually make this video card run better. So we'll pull it on medium details. Let's see, do we get more FPS? Lower details, whoa, instant performance. On medium details, apparently I get a nice FPS. I'm still holding that wattage, 130 watts actually. It's growing. It's getting it even, you know, even bigger. Uh, getting even uh, harder on the wattage it doesn't matter it's doing a fantastic job with the amount of uh, detail it's got to push you know so i'm having a great experience you know with this it's something that i will not uh, disconsider you know because this is the performance i want for my monitor for everything you know and like 42 percent 42 fps on minima that's x good number if you're asking me one percent is good 0.1 is good everything is good with this video card seriously so on the system i got 11.1 so apparently every single game it's averaging over 10 gig of system ram so uh, 8 gig of uh, system ram is apparently it's not ideal 16 gig is mandatory ring of elysium <laughs> another uh, battle royale apparently let's go on quality and uh, ray tracing let's use this video card at maximum seriously high maximum resolution scale advanced yeah all right let's see ring of elysium with maximum details ray tracing and everything Ooh, looks actually good seriously 60 degrees on the gpu maximum core load that's uh, something that uh, you will get whenever you have that 99% on the low on the core load you know the GPU will get hot apparently so there no there is no escaping from this feels very snappy 28 uh, FPS on minimal 72 on one percent this is good overall I'm getting like 130 apparently on the on the wattage that is very generic okay, so with ray tracing apparently we're getting around 80 FPS on average 89 this is a good number for an RTX 3050, you know. I'm waiting for other games to put for this uh, video card to test, you know. I'm just trying to get in uh, slowly with this uh, video card. I think there's a lot of games that you can play on this uh, GPU with uh, maximum details and can't wait to find more games that allow allows that uh, ray tracing uh, to shine. Okay, uh, for light, apparently getting better and better on finding games that actually runs really good on the hardware you know so this is one of those games and uh, this is maximum details it's got like very light game you know but it's better real and i like how it's performing with my hardware so we're gonna jump in and see how it's running with this one all right let's see how it's running Ooh, jumping into the city super fast uh, not ideal but whatever regardless uh, on 240 hertz, uh, this is what you get, 240 FPS, you know, with 29 minimals, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but it's doing, it's doing the job. The CPU apparently, it's not being used. 
10 20% yes that's exactly what i need but i need to look in the future for um, other cpus and other system how they are running with this game seriously this is this is the magic game don't forget this is an 8 nanometer gpu you know and it's got 8 gig of vram it's got ray tracing and if you pair it up with a decent cpu you will actually have a nice uh, performance from the whole system overall i like the video card because uh, i managed to get one <laughs> from the perspective of the owner you know i will say only good things about the video card considering i have a couple of more gpus aside from this i think this is a good video card that will fit in a lot of computers that are not as powerful as this i9 uh, can't wait to test this video card in more in many systems you know i this is just the beginning but um this regarding this um, i like how the gpu is performing it's worth the money if you can get one chip and that's it i like the rtx uh, 3050 seriously what do you think